one day out then from the UKUP York Championships and I'm going to bring you guys with me. It is currently 7am Friday morning, the show is tomorrow, it's going to start around midday. So I'm going to bring you guys with me and show you what goes down the day before a show and the day of a show. Let's do this. First things first then, let's get the morning weigh-in done, let's see where I'm at with that. And then it's time to get my kit off and let Coach Lucy, the Super Fox Walk, and have a look at me and see if I get more carbs or not today. Right, condition check time. Look at these, absolute rascal, old school. Is it like good there? Yeah, it's good. Mm, okay. What are you thinking? Quarter turn, it's the right for me, then I'll get your waist. Tr trousers around the ankles. I don't think you have to do this look, do you, on stage? Okay, yeah, I'm back. Okay, definitely more carbs today. There's two meals where we had low carbs. Uh, put the carbs in as normal and take those oat meals up to bedtime oats. So, if I'm correct, I have two extra meals with carbs in. You do, correct. Yes! Praise the Lord! Woo! Got my coffee and got my water, most importantly. I'm gonna have few litres today, I won't tell you how many. Sorry, I always do this for some reason in peak week. I take all the labels off my water. I think it's purely because I get prep brain, like diet brain. I seem to forget where I put my water, which one's mine. So I'm at work, I'm at home and everyone's got the same bottles. And I'll tell you what, I literally lose count of how many I've gone through. So a little trick, take the label off so you know which one's yours, even when you leave them lying around the house. Right, so we've made it onto the train to York. Delayed as always, we're here. Got the exciting food on us. Potatoes, beer veg and turkey for me. What have you got loose? Steak. Steak? Steak, steak mince. Yeah, still dying. So we're both, both keeping it clean. So yeah, should be there in about an hour or so. Um, gonna get a tan so weird. What else have I got to do? Just chill out, I think, really. Relax. Relax. Um, get the water in still. So on to my second bottle of the day. As I've said before, don't go crazy with the water, but um, gonna get a few liters in just so when I drop it out, I'll be nice and dry tomorrow. Currently in a very good mood though, because not only have I got food, I've also got coffee from Leon. And their coffee is good. Do you like that? Let's try that again. So we've made it to York. So much quicker getting the train here than you know driving. Especially because I think I'm on a current total of about 10 wee breaks a day. Now imagine doing that when you're driving. Sitting in traffic, needing a toilet. Not fun. So yeah, travelled up here by train. Didn't take long at all. And now Lucy has found a little coffee shop. Does almond milk or almond milk. Depends how you say it. So she's happy. You happy now, yeah? Yeah. We've made it to our Airbnb. Sod's law, we get to York Station and apparently the races are on. So it's absolute carnage. Friday, York Station, trying to get a taxi, nightmare. Had a Uber cancel on us. Um, so we had to queue up for about an hour to get a taxi, but we've made it. Let me show you around the Airbnb we have. It's perfect. Kitchen area. Breakfast, breakfast bar and fizz stick. They've even given us stuff in the fridge. Beer can. And we've got room in here for Ben and Jerry's. Little bathroom. Little bedroom. We have a little garden. There's a Tesco extra nearby. So we've got some turkey, water, what else? Potatoes. Potatoes, like crispy cremes. Yeah, crispy cremes. That is what's uh, top of my list. 
I'm only gonna limit myself to three this time, not 12. So, put a little poll on my Instagram. And at the moment, out of the four I put on there, the cookies and cream one is losing. So it's gonna be Reese's Lotus Biscoff, I think that's how you say it. And then one of the new ones, it's a, a green looking donut with um, brownie batter mix inside. So hopefully I can hunt these down. Um, if not, then we're just gonna go for a hell of a long walk. Look what I've got. I've got all three. Absolutely nailed it. I think we're done with shopping. Sod the turkey. Got our food shop sorted. Here it is. Loads of turkey. Asparagus and broccoli. And baby potato. So that is the end of day one. Very exciting day. Not, but it has been nice and chilled out for once. Sometimes the day before a show can get a little bit stressful, but today's been nice and chilled. The tan, first two layers, is on. Although some idiot decided to get out of a car earlier, straight after his tan. I've now got, if you can see it, a nice big white patch. Of the show, 6 a.m. Saturday morning, didn't really sleep much. Not because I was nervous, but because I'm a little bit dehydrated and a little bit hungry, so all those oats didn't really touch the sides. And I kept waking up, obviously, a smell of biscuits from the tan. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night and obviously slept on my hand and I've uh, now got a brown patch, so I'm going to need a bit of a touch-up today. Um, apart from that, feeling good. Just got a very, very tiny black coffee to uh, wake me up. And apart from that, I'm feeling excited about the day. But let's see what condition I'm in now, because hopefully I'm nice and tight, ready for the show. So let's uh, check my condition. A little bit. A little bit. I think we are ready to rock and roll, people. Touch-ups to the tan done. I think that's fixed the face and the arm out. I hope. Just got inside the venue. It's big. Looks good. So we've got athletes meeting in about half an hour. But till then, I'm gonna chill out. But this is where it's all gonna go down very soon. stage it was exhausting just going to get myself a little bit of food but it's great category great fun so people want to know what I eat on show day so you've seen I've had turkey I've had potatoes I've had more turkey more potatoes not a lot but a couple of coffees and now we're literally running on miniatures shot of coffee a couple more sips of water a few jelly babies and we're good to go for round two. <laughs> I'm ready for round two. Men's physique, ball chalks are on. Different posing, so I need to remember not to do fitness model posing um, in athletic physique. So bigger guys, there's no high category, so I could be against some seven footers, but we'll see. That is the final category of the day done. Athletic physique, and I am absolutely exhausted. I've had a couple of treats, but not many. I'll be honest, I binned the sweets I had left because I knew I was just gonna binge and I've got a show again in two weeks. So that's me done for the actual competition aspect of it. 
I've now got to go back in 20 minutes for the awards, so fingers crossed. Guys, we came to York and we did it. Can't thank this girl here. This one, can't thank her enough. The Super Fox, the Corruptly Sorton, and we did it. We have an absolute stash, I can't believe it. So we've left York University, and the first place we're going is Nando's, so. Straight to Nando's. It's straight really to Nando's. Angle. It's a good angle. Straight to Nando's. And uh, obviously, I've got to decide what I want. You know, I'm craving fruits. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm not water. even water. Yes, I've just had two liters of water. Um, I normally have a refillable Coke here, but I think I'm just going to go for water today. Uh, maybe half chicken. Um, I've got no brownies left. Maybe, maybe that's in the fridge. Um, what else? I don't know. I want something like a salad, Juice. maybe something refreshing. Anyway, so we'll see. I'll let you know, guy. Let you guys know what I get. Um, there's so much to choose from. So much. Now it's time for the party. The Krispy Kreme party. Right, this is the one. This is the one I've been waiting for. What was it called? I don't even know. The something mummy. The Krispy Kreme mummy. Full of brownie batter. So that is the first one. It's good, very good. Nice. Number two, it's gone everywhere. Lotus. I'll be honest, it just tastes like a pretty naff jam donut. And the last one, Reese's. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm going everywhere. It's really good. So we're back in London after a weekend competing in York and what better way to finish than to have a well-earned cheat meal at my number one cheat meal place, Black's Burgers in Epsom. Let's go get some good food, celebrate and chill out. Thanks for watching everyone. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. You know the score. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.